Hi guys, welcome back to Vitaly Style. Today I want to show you and talk to you a little bit about how I use the Sally Hansen airbrush legs. I've got the lotion form and the spray form. Now, first off, I will say that I personally prefer the lotion over the spray. I've used the spray for a long time and then when they came out with the lotion form, it was like, somebody had listened to my prayers <laughs> um, just because this can be a little bit messy to use and to travel with so this definitely makes it, makes things a lot easier now for me I always like to mix this with a little bit of lotion doesn't matter whether I'm using the spray or this one I like to mix it with a little bit of regular lotion because I feel like it makes it go a lot it makes it go on a lot smoother and just kind of get into the skin better and the lotion I used this time is the Olay Quench Body Lotion. It says shimmer, but there's no shimmer in it, so I don't know why it says that, but I really, really like it. I mean, it's not the best lotion in the entire world. It's just, it's a lotion. So that is what I used. And basically, what I did is I took um, some of the, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about the lotion form first. I took a little bit of the lotion, of the tan lotion, and mixed in of the airbrush legs tan leg makeup lotion and mix it in with a little bit of my regular lotion and then mix the two together and apply this all over my legs and then just make sure that you really take your time and blend it into the skin and blend it onto your foot now obviously you can tell that i put quite a bit of uh, uh, onto my hands and that is enough to do both legs and that includes my thighs as well which i didn't show because you know i didn't want to get that up close and personal <laughs> but I did do my legs uh, and you know so hopefully you could see how smooth my legs looked and it really does give you a complete like airbrush look to your legs it makes it look like you have pantyhose on without having to wear pantyhose which I do not like um, so that was the lotion and then I, for the spray I use a little bit less of it because I wanted to show you that you could you didn't have to get such a heavy coverage you could have um, you can achieve lighter coverage if you just use a little tiny bit of lotion and a little tiny squirt of the tan uh, and mix those two together and rub it into the skin and it doesn't give you as heavy of a coverage as the lotion but it still gives you um, enough coverage I think to make a difference now for me like I mentioned in the beginning of the video I prefer the lotion version over the tan spray any day and I always like to mix it in with my lotion now it says here that it's water resistant I wouldn't wear this to the pool or anything like that I would just primarily use this if you're wearing a nice dress and you want to you know you want your legs to look really really airbrushed and something like that so that's what I would use it for I would use it for an everyday um, you know for an everyday look if you were wearing jeans there's no need for you to wear this uh, it's definitely not something I would ever wear to the beach it's just something that I would wear for special occasions if I want my legs to look nice I would use I would use something like this now it's hard to say because really is it for everyone no I think if you're super super pale you're going to if you have really really fair skin it's going to look like makeup on your legs I think the trick with it you can you, the trick that you need to do with this is you need to use quite a bit of lotion and just a small little dot of this into it and blend it really really well and I think that would work for fair skin girls but you have to really be careful because this is really dark look at that that is super super dark it's not going to be something that you can't detect if you don't blend it out right and if you apply too much it's definitely noticeable I think that this is definitely better for someone that has medium to deeper skin tones it blends into the skin better it, make, it looks less obvious that you have something on your legs can you use this other places other than your legs you probably could I really don't but you absolutely can I mean I don't see why you wouldn't be able to I'm going to show you a little bit in the back of my hand um, I would just take a little tiny pump of this now you really don't need a lot of this stuff and you'll see in a second and like a little drop I mean look how little I put in the back of my hand and you mix the two together you see how dark that is if you are really fair this will I mean you can tell that you're having something on your legs but once you blend it out and I'll blend it I'll blend it on my arm it might look a little orange because of the lighting but once you blend it out it looks really good and what I do is I let this sit for a good 15 minutes or so. Let's see if there's a difference. But yeah, you can tell the difference between this one and then the bottom. It doesn't have anything on it. What I do is I would let, I, it says that you can let it set for 10 minutes, right? Let me see. 
She doesn't say how long you have to let this sit for. 60 seconds before dressing. No, you don't want to wait 60 seconds before dressing. You want to wait a good 10, 15 minutes before dressing because that's just not enough time. Trust me, I've made that mistake and then I put on my cream dress and you, had, you could see it all over the place. But the good thing is that once it does set, it doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't smudge on your clothes. I wouldn't put on something white, stark, stark white because you never know. And I'm just someone that's really self-conscious and like, I would panic just the idea that something is on there, do you know what I mean? So I would really be careful. But other than that, I think this is a really great product to have if you're going to a special event and you want your legs to look absolutely perfect if you're having pictures taken. But as you can see, once you blend it really, really well, it does make you it does make it the skin looks good, the skin look good. So I think this is definitely a good product to have. I don't ever, 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 you won't find me without it. I always have one of these on hand. And I even have the look the spray. Because you never know, it could, you could work on your back, it could come in handy, I don't know. But I always have this, but this is my preferred, um, I, like to, I prefer the lotion over the spray. But that's really about it. I feel like I've just rambled for five minutes, but I hope that that makes some sort of sense to you. I know a lot of you had asked me for a demo and to talk a little bit about how I use it. So that's really how I use it. I use it for special occasions when I want to make my legs look great because I have a lot, a lot of... Um, no, not bruises, like, but there's like a lot of imperfections on my legs. I guess you could call that a scarring on my legs because I've got mosquito bites and I've hit things on my legs, so I've got scarring from scratching and whatever. And uh, so I, I'm not gonna lie and say that I love my legs because I, it's the one part of my body I'm a little self-conscious about, and the fact that there's so much scarring on them. It's like, it doesn't make me feel any better. <laughs> so if I can just add something to them that it makes them look like there's nothing there, then it definitely makes me feel better. And this, in a lotion, does a job for me. So that is it. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have. Like this video if you found it helpful. And let me know if you do use any of these, which one you prefer. Um, I prefer this one. But anyway, that is everything. Um, I have nothing on my lips. So I know people always ask for my lipstick, but I have nothing on my lips. The only thing I have on is this um, strawberry lip balm from Smith, the Smith's lip balm. I got this from um, Sephora a long time ago. But that is everything. I hope that you have found this helpful. Let me know what you guys want to see next, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.